are a B mods. Big O tires, B feature number one, one of two. As you get a good look at the Lucas Oil hauler on the far pit side of the track. We'll lay out the field for you here. Brantley Gotchell and Gary Fain will make up row number one. Fain on Lone Jack, Missouri. The Rainbow 24 of Je Jerry Ellis will start third with Greg Scheffler to his outside. Brandon King and Barry White will make up row number three. Jim Sehe, the driver of the 99 out of Warsaw, Missouri, scheduled to roll off seventh. And Jacob Long and Wes Long, both from Greenfield, Missouri, surprisingly enough. The 14T of Quentin Taylor starts 10th. Austin Skiles and Sean Hendren. Back in row number seven, you'll find Cole Stillwell out of Ullman, Missouri, and the 83K of Kyle Fritter. Donald Prasuti rounds out the field here. In the seven, Shane, 45 B mods came to Wheatland, Missouri tonight. Wow. In the hopes that they would get a feature win. A handful of drivers will get an opportunity with a good run here in the Big O Tires B feature number one to punch their ticket and make it to the 25 lap feature later. Yeah, it will take some work to make their way to the A as the main tonight will be 25 laps. Our two Big O Tire B features 12 times around top four. We'll move on to our feature later this evening as 15 cars will buy for Top four spots in this one as the caution light has gone dark. Here are the Diamond of Dirt tracks. Brent McDonald and Gary Thain make up that front row. You see them stacked and packed. Two wide, seven rows deep. Off of turn four, Brantley Gotchel first to step on the loud pedal. And the field will come to life. Here in Wheatland, Gotchel out in front, but Jerry Ellis makes a good run on that lower group. Stays to the inside of Greg Scheffler as the top four cars are all lined out. One spinner over in turn two, able to get it back underway. That is the number nine. He started deep in the field with Cole Stillwell, so as he gets back underway, Gotchel will lose that top spot to Ellis as the rainbow number 24 and a huge pileup. Over in turn number four will bring the caution flag up. Seven cars all involved. That'll get half the field all involved. You see Jim C. He the number 99. Part of that mix. The 37 involved in that as well. That is West Brown. Austin Skiles in the five. One of the cars crumpled up. That red and black five in the middle of your screen. As well as the 64. That's Sean Hendren out of Nevada, Missouri. So a huge mess over in turn. It'll take a while for the Hobby Time Motorsport Safety Crew to get all of those cars unhooked and get this track ready for the green track to throw again. Caution lap. Caution light comes on after just one lap. Jerry Ellis is your leader as we step aside more from Lucas Oil Speedway in just a minute. B feature number one, a multi-car crash in turn number two, a number of cars now off the track. We started the race with 15. We're down to eight. So the top four cars get in the show later tonight. The bottom four cars head back to the pits and look to their next race. As Bruce Cordy lets them know, we're going to go one more time around and get this one back under green, just one lap. So far in this 12-lap Big O Tire B feature, but a lot more room on the racetrack now for the competitors yes. that are still in it. Started with 15, and we are down to eight with Jerry Ellis, who started in third. Now your leader, Brantley Gotchel behind him, and you got Greg Scheffler, and then Brandon King in the 41. Single file restart off of turn four. Ellis goes topside. Gotchel dives to the inside. As they make their way through one and two, Gotchel unable to make any ground on the 24 of Ellis, who's now out by three car lengths. Burning a groove higher than Gotchel is, and you got Scheffler back there, another four car lengths behind in third. 
Two laps in to our 12 lap B feature. First of two for the Ozark Golf Cars USRA B mods. Again, top four will move on and back in fourth right now is the 41 of Brandon King. Kyle Fritter in the 83. First man outside looking in. Ellis Gottschall, Scheffler, King, the top four, and this one is Fritter is gonna go around on the exit of turn number two. His car comes spinning and will come to rest on the infield and we'll keep green flag racing here. Well, four laps in. Yeah, Fritter was the first man out looking in. Now it's Sean Hendren in the 64 M that will move up to fifth. Ellis continues to gap Brantley Gotchel. Last time around was 0.8 seconds. This time underneath the flag stand, Timing will go back to 1.2 seconds, so almost another half a second gained by Jerry Ellis in the 24. Racing further back in the field, third and fourth, Brandon King and Greg Scheffler. Scheffler out of Pittsburgh, Missouri, in the white and red 21. The 41 of Brandon King bouncing its way through the apex of three and four, but he keeps the hammer down and continues to hold on to that third transfer spot. We talked about the Hobby Time Motorsport Safety crew doing a great job of tending to the cars on the track. This crew that comes to work here every single week has really had their hands full with the Diamond of Dirt tracks over the last few weeks as rain just continues to pour through southwest Missouri. It seems like every week, half of the days in the week have rain forecasted in them, and it has really caused a lot of issues here, but they have done a great job of trying to make it as race-ready and whenever many of the other tracks in the area all cancel a day ahead of time, that just tells you how much work it's taken to get this ready. The racer from Richland, Missouri in the Rainbow 24, Jerry Ellis, sponsored by Crawford's Heating and Air, continues to run roughshod over the field. Two and a half seconds the advantage now as the yellow comes on again, a puff of smoke, and it looks like the expiration date has come due on the 7 of Donald Prasuti. Plenty of smoke continuing to billow out, billow out from underneath the hood and plenty of moisture down on the track as well. With three laps left in this one, it's Jerry Ellis out in front and just continues to go up in smoke for the number 7. Quite a bit going on there with the seven as the Hobby Time Motorsports safety crew hops to again. Caution coming out here on lap number nine. Jerry Ellis, Brantley Gotchell, Brandon King, Greg Scheffler, and Sean Hendren running one, two, three, four, five. The top four advance to the A-Main later tonight as we take a break here on Lucas Oil Speedway Saturday night short track. Started shotgun on the field. And the Hobby Time Motorsports Safety Crew had to tend to him. They actually brought the fire hoses out, as you saw right before we went to break. So now six cars remain, four spots. We'll move on in our first B feature. And this one has been all Jerry Ellis out in front. After grabbing the lead, just a couple of laps in, he started to gap the rest of the field. Brantley Gotch will put up a yeoman's effort trying to get around him on that last restart, looking to the inside, but was really unable to do anything with the number 24. We'll see if any of the other cars can catch up with Ellis and which four will survive the final three laps in this one is Ellis. Middle groove, Gottschall looks to the inside. They both start to pull away from the 41 of Brandon King. King now back a good six car lengths behind those top two cars is Gottschall. Peaks to the inside again two more times around underneath the flag stand this time. Gottschall, a bottom feeder. He is catfishing around over in turns one and two, and he has found the grip, and now can he hold on to that position as he has gotten around the 24? Does Jerry Ellis have the ability to get back around the four? He'll have one more circuit around, three-eighths of a mile between Brantley Gotchell and a B-feature win. Ellis, higher on the track, trying to get a run off of turn two. Don't think he's going to have anything for him, Corey, is Brantley Gotchell. Drifts high on the track. Here comes Brandon King. He tried to take that second spot away, but nothing doing as Brantley Gotchell does have enough to get around Jerry Ellis. He will grab Big O Tire B feature number one. Ellis in second. Brandon King in third. Greg Scheffler moves on. Sean Hendren, who finishes in fifth, unable to make the A feature tonight. 
What a move by Brantley Gottschall, a power move to pick up the win. Vance on to the A feature later tonight at a Big O Tires B feature number one. B feature racing continues here at the Diamond of Dirt Tracks. Big O Tires B feature number two. 12 times around, 14 cars will the 0K of Jeffrey McNew has a new skin over on the right side and Wesley Briggs, he doesn't have any siding at all on the right side of his car, but out in front, Mark Law, who starts on the point, he will come off of turn four and have plenty of company back behind him as the 37 of Clint Johnson out of Neosho, Missouri has a hot rod underneath him. Whenever he came to Lucas Oil Speedway, Earlier in the year, he said he wanted to come and race some of the top competition. Well, a number of big names at Lucas Oil Speedway not here tonight. Chris Jackson, who dominated the season here at the Diamond of Dirt Tracks, he's not in the house. J.C. Morton not here as well. But Clint Johnson, he's got to work his way through the B. He's now at the inside of Mark Long out of Willard, Missouri. He will take over that top spot as Johnson goes flying off of turn four, and he will lead by .4 seconds over Mark Long, three laps in. The four that are in right now, Johnson, Mark Long, Brighton White, and Brayton Skaggs. The top four in the running order as Mark Long gets close there to the back bumper of the 37, then loses a little bit of ground as they come off of a turn number four. Three tenths of a second, the differential back between Johnson and Long, but Brian White is closing fast. See the car sitting just off your screen behind the 30 as everybody chases Clint Johnson around the racetrack. Here, five, six laps in, five laps in to our 12-lap B feature. And, Corey, one thing that really has not transpired tonight that we typically see here is that top groove start to work its way in. It has not come in at all tonight. Hardly anyone is getting two lanes off of that bottom line. There's a big rut around it that middle line over in turn two as well as turn four. And they're trying to find their way higher and higher as the night goes along, but they just simply have not been able to do it. There where you see the number 30 is right now of Mark Long, that's about as high as anybody has gotten on the track. Nobody has even attempted to go any higher than that. After we turn as many laps as we have in the night, you can almost be assured, especially a BMON driver like Andy Bryant, he likes to go around the top of the racetrack. That line may not be there here tonight as the track conditions have only opened up the bottom line and the middle as now Briggs and Newell come to a stop right out of turn number four, the red 83, and the already heavily damaged 28 of West Briggs. I mean, the 28 looks good from that angle, but if we continue our MAV TV coverage, Lucas Oil Speedway Saturday night action here at the Diamond of Dirt Tracks. Clint Johnson out in front of the field here. The top four cars will advance. We've got five laps to go with those top four cars. And already Brayton Skaggs has company for that fourth and final transfer spot as the 77 pulls up alongside the Hebrew Hammer back in traffic. Yeah, Jeff Dowdy able to take that fourth spot away. That is the final transfer spot, as you mentioned. And the number four of Skaggs now starting to get a little higher on the track as they are side by side for fourth. Clint Johnson running some of his fastest laps of the night. That last time he was the only driver to turn a sub 18 second lap of the 17.8. Now you see Skaggs. He is now drifting a little higher on the track trying to find more tack up top and get a good momentum push off of the turn. Right now he holds on to that fourth and final transfer spot, but Dowdy not about to give up on it. And now more company coming. That'll be a three-car battle here before too long. There you see the 30 of Mark Long, that Wilson Logistics machine with two laps remaining. He is securely in second. Brian White, the number 98, is in third. Now it's Brayton Skaggs around Dowdy. That's the final transfer spot. We'll keep an eye on that with one more lap to go. That's Clint Johnson a half a straightaway ahead. There's your fight for third, fourth, and fifth, Dowdy to the inside. He wants to make his way to the aid. As Clint Johnson comes off of turn four, he will win this one. It's side by side, back and forth. Who will get the final spot? Right at the line, and it's Dowdy. 
edging out Brayton Skaggs. So Dowdy moves on in the number 77. He makes a last lap pass, and he will round out your starting grid for your A main later on tonight, but nobody was fast.